What's going on guys? I'm a real estate agent here in Dallas, Texas. My name is Chrome Khalil and I'm going to explain to you in very short what you should do if the market tanks, what you should do if you're in the process of trying to buy a home, what you should do if your mind is right there letting you get the real estate itches, meaning you just want to buy a property, whether it's primary, investment, you don't know. You just want to buy something because you're seeing the rates real low. You're seeing opportunity out there, whatever it might be. I'm going to give you my answer on what I think as a real estate agent. I'm not advising you. This is just my opinion. This is just me talking for entertainment purposes, but I'm going to tell you what I think you should do during everything that's going around. So stick around and watch what I got to say. So the question I'm getting a lot is, should I buy a house right now? Should I buy an investment property right now? Should I buy this commercial building right now? Should I buy this land right now? Should I, should I, should I just throw off? offers out there, lowball offers and pray that I get a good response, that they accept my offer because people are desperate. They want cash right now. Remember guys, when the market's going up, there's money to be made. And when it's going down, there's also money to be made. So there's people who have been sitting on the sidelines for the last couple of years hoarding cash. And when this happens, they're excited. They're ready. They are prepared. You might be scared, but then there's somebody else who's excited. You might be excited, but there's somebody else who is scared. So right now we got the people who are excited, who have been hoarding cash, who are ready to buy a property. And this is my answer to them. The market still has it found its bottom. That's number one. Number two, right now, believe it or not, prices are not slashed. There's a lot of properties out there that are not just cutting their prices by a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars, even fifty thousand dollars. My advice to you is if you want to buy a property, it's not a bad idea to start scoping and to look to see who's desperate and who's not, to see what properties keep having price reductions, to see what properties have in the property description saying motivated seller right? Those are very hot words. Seeing those words, those are motivating. That gives you the idea that this person might take $100,000 less. This person might take $30,000 less, but do understand that the market, just because of everything going around, it's not crashing currently. And not only that, but the prices are not being sliced by 50%. Currently, what we're seeing right now is just motivated sellers who want to sell, you can negotiate more. You have way more negotiating power. Eight months ago, a year ago, not much negotiating power when you're representing a buyer. Now, there's a lot of negotiation power. So yes, you have that, but no, there is not steel deals all over the world. There are steel deals, but just not everywhere just yet. Is it going to come? Some people are hopeful. Some people think it's going to, and others say no. When the market opens up, things will rebound. It's two parties, two different sides, like the Democrats and the Republicans, but we're not going to get into that. So if it was me who's looking right now to buy investment properties or look to buy a primary home, what I would do literally this second is I would start scoping investment properties. I would see a shopping center for 1.5 mil. I would see that the rent's not being collected by the landlord. I'll run numbers and I'll see I might offer $900,000 course it depends on the location depends on everything on the property depends on why I'm offering that 900 you want to be able to justify you can't just throw it if I'm looking to buy a primary residence the house is for $600,000 I'm going to look at that house, see how long it's been on the market, see what the people are expecting, see how things are looking in that area, see if there's any movement happening. If not, I might throw an offer for $525,000. Is that a low ball? You could say yes, but in right now's market, nothing is a low ball. Everything is literally for sale. So in short, what I would do is I would scope out what's going on in the market. I would look at properties that I like. I would analyze those properties and I will throw out offers for them not offensive offers. I'm not going to go offer for a $500,000 property, $50,000, but offers that are reasonable. And you're going to do that being confident that you're going to either rent it out or you're going to live in it. And you're going to be confident that that is a good deal at that moment. Make sure you research your market. You're not blindly throwing offers because anybody can list a property at 1 million. You can offer 700 K they can accept. And then you're going to go, woohoo, I got it for 700 K. But realistically, they were overpriced. So you have to be careful on that and make sure you're not offering on things that are overpriced. There's so many properties out there that were overpriced, were inflated because the market was just so high and hot. Right now, that's not the case. So make sure you be careful. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got any value, don't forget to hit the like button. And most importantly, every single week, I upload real estate content, business content, finance content. So if you enjoyed this, you're going to enjoy the future ones. And if you haven't watched my previous ones, go check them out. Also, keep your eyes open, watch out for the opportunities, and be ready to grab them when they present themselves. Keep on hustling, keep it up, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.